The National Eucharistic Pilgrimage is kicking off soon, and we're finding out how you can join the journey right here in New York City. The easiest spot to meet up with the pilgrims in Manhattan is at St. Patrick's Cathedral. They'll be at the Landmark Cathedral at 10 a.m. on Sunday, May 26th. From there, they'll eventually make their way to the Brooklyn Bridge, where the journey will be passed off into the Diocese of Brooklyn. The procession will head to the Co-Cathedral of St. Joseph for adoration and exposition of the Blessed Sacrament before another full day of stops throughout the diocese. Beyond Brooklyn, the pilgrim will travel through New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, and Ohio, and eventually end up in Indianapolis for the National Congress. This is one of four routes traveling from four corners of the country to the Congress. The pilgrims will be traveling 6,500 miles and passing through 65 dioceses in the 60 days leading to the Indianapolis event. The National Pilgrim Virgin Statue of Fatima is also making the journey to Indianapolis. It is paving the way with prayer and reparation to bring back loved ones who have left the church. She will not intersect with the walking pilgrims, but she will make stops this weekend in the diocese at parishes in Flushing, St. Michael's, St. Kevin's, St. Paul John Hassan, St. John Vianney, and St. Josephat. She will also be at Sacred Heart in Bayside. Our apostolate has been bringing these statues around the country and the international around the world since 1947. It's largely how the Fatima message got spread after World War II was because of our apostolate. And so these statue tours to various parishes in dioceses with the approval of the bishops are very important to us in helping us spread the message of Fatima in the modern world. The Fatima message at the foundation is about the Eucharist. The statue was blessed by Pope Paul VI in 1967 and was crowned and blessed again by Cardinal O'Connor in New York and has been traveling around the United States ever since. Joining us now with more on the Eucharistic Revival is the national correspondent for the Tablet and Crux, John Lavenberg. Hi, John. Hi, Katie. So what can Catholics in the Diocese of Brooklyn expect when the pilgrimage makes its way through the diocese? So nationwide, it's expected by those that organize the pilgrimage that as many as 100,000 people could join the various routes. So for the, the route that eventually gets to the Diocese of Brooklyn, that could mean thousands of people will be here at one time. And, you know, of course, Cardinal Timothy Dolan and Bishop Robert Brennan will each have a role um, in the procession at different points. And as Bishop Brennan said at the, national, at the Diocesan Eucharistic Revival, there's a beauty in having thousands of people coming together in the name of the faith. So that's something that can also be expected for this pilgrimage when thousands are coming together again. And can anyone join the pilgrimage? Is there anything they need to do ahead of time? So there are specific events that need to be registered for, but in general, the procession will happen through the streets of the Diocese of Brooklyn, and anyone is free to come out of their homes and join at the various stops along the way. And uh, Pope Francis has granted plenary indulgence for anyone who participates in the National Eucharistic Pilgrimage. So what does that mean? Yeah, so plenary indulgence is a Catholic practice that removes temporal punishment for sins that have already been forgiven. So it's a big deal that Pope Francis granted this for those that participate in the National Eucharistic Pilgrimage, and that's something that the U.S. bishops expressed when they thanked Pope Francis for granting this plenary indulgence. All right, lots of great information there. John Lavenberg, National Correspondent for the Tablet and Crux, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Katie. And to learn more about all things related to National Eucharistic Pilgrimage and Congress, just go to eucharisticrevival.org. And remember to stay with John Lavenberg and the tablet for comprehensive coverage at thetablet.org. You don't want to miss anything. It's the first National Eucharistic Congress in nearly 90 years. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.